Nobody ever gets full feasting on Iowa darters or big mouth shiners. But fisheries biologists with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department are hoping their numbers are enough to fill up their data sheets. Recently, Game and Fish surveyed a segment of the Sweetwater River in central Wyoming, gathering data on big mouth shiners and Iowa darters, both considered species of greatest conservation need in Wyoming. The last such surveys here were in the early 90s, and loss of habitat for this fish elsewhere has prompted concerns about decreases in its distribution in the last decade. Lander Fisheries biologist Paul Garrity says finding the Iowa darter in this drainage is promising. We don't really know a lot about the abundance of Iowa darters right now because they're really tough fish to capture when you're electrofishing. Um, unlike a lot of fish that rise to the surface and are easy to net, darters stay on the bottom. It's good to see that the Iowa darters are up here. It shows that their range is still what it was at least a little over 20 years ago. Their range has not decreased. So uh, really good to see for a native species of greatest conservation need. Iowa darters are from the same family as perch, walleye, and sauger. They feed on small aquatic insects. Big mouth shiners dine at night on small aquatic and terrestrial invertebrates and insects, along with algae at the bottom of streams. Now, this stretch of river may also hold appeal for another fish species. A separate project funded through a state wildlife grant from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service involves searching for translocation sites for horny head chub, another species of greatest conservation need found only in the Laramie and North Laramie rivers. University of Wyoming graduate student Brian Hickerson's research involves looking for sites that have similar habitat to that of the Laramie River. We go to a bunch of places where horny head chub currently live in the Laramie River, look at what kind of fish they're living with and what habitat they're using, and we go to several streams in the North Platte drainage where it's uh, possible they used to be or could be, and we look at what kind of fish are there and what habitat is there so we can match them up. Compiling data on these fish species is yet another way the Wyoming Game and Fish works to manage and conserve native species of wildlife. The presence of these native fish species is an indicator of a healthy fishery. These fish provide forage for other fish, including species whose numbers may also one day be in decline. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.